does the pig say? Hey there everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft mod showcase where today we're going to be taking a look at another fun mod called the Derpy Pig mod. Now we all know how Derpy Pigs look and can sometimes act but this takes it one step further by giving you a handful of items, armor and even a brand new dimension with an amazing new weapon just waiting to be used. So without further ado, let's get straight to it, little piggy. So as you can see, we are in Treoris's lab again. Treoris is over here. He's looking... Why is he always staring at that piece of the wall? He must love... that. He just loves to press his face up against the cool metal and just be like, this is mine. This is all mine. Don't you? Yes, I know you do. But anyway, Grim is over here as well. And first, we're going to have to look at some of the stuff to create the piggy dimension. And then we'll go and look at some items and stuff like that. And Treos has jumped into action. He desperately wants to go to this dimension. So in here are a couple of items that work towards the process of getting to the new piggy dimension. And you're going to need to start with creating a bunch of yummy pork chops, which sounds absolutely delicious. And you are going to need nine raw pork chops to do this and then put them in a crafting table like this. And that will give you a bunch of yummy pork chops which you can also cook and eat which is amazing too or you can go ahead and make some buttery porky chops of doom yes but first you're going to need to create again a bunch of yummy pork chops and put gold all the way around the outside to create your buttery pork chop of doom that sounds even more delicious by the way Oh my god, my, my mouth is watering. But yeah, after that, you're going to need to create some blocks so you can create the portal frame and then allow to ignite the portal so we can go through to the dimension and it'll be super awesome. So in here is the block of pigginess and the butter block of pigginess. So, oh my god, wow. Why are, you, why are you so hyper all of a sudden? Wow, what's wrong with you today? But anyway, maybe you ate one of these. But anyway, to make the block of pigginess, you're going to need nine bunch of yummy pork chops all in a table. So that's a lot of pork and a lot of pigs to make one block of pigginess. And then you're mainly going to need some butter block of pigginess. So you're going to need lots of gold, lots of pork chops. You're going to need nine buttery pork chops of doom to create this. And that will create your nether portal frame or your piggy portal frame, sorry, in the same pattern as a nether portal. So you're actually only going to need 10 minimum for this. But that's still a lot of gold. That's like 80 gold, isn't it? And when you need Need like nine eight of these then you need ten of oh no wait this makes nine that's okay okay the, the panic's over you don't need that many it's okay so yeah now we created these two blocks i think we are ready to go to the piggy dimension are you ready treros what we're going to need is one of these a block of pigginess and um our portal made out of butter blocks of pigginess and what you need to do is put your block of pigginess right in there like that and look at that look at it look it right in the eyes and tell me that is not cool Look at that nether portal frame, that is so amazing! And we're going to step foot straight into that in a second, but first, we need some companions. So what we're going to do is grab these pigs and ride on through to the derpy pig dimension. So let's break these guys out. Here we go. Have some freedom, lads. There we go. Traus needs to grab one as well, but we're going to grab a saddle and a carrot on a stick. Come on, buddy. You, you need to be ridden right through the portal. So let's go. Let's go around here. Come on, let's go. You're a bit slow. Oh, you're not too bad, actually. Let's go. I'll meet you on the other side. Come on, piggy. Let's go. And guys, here we are, check it out. Let me just get off this pig. What? Oh my god, I'm in it. I'm in the pink water. What was that about? But anyway, welcome to the Derpy Pig Dimension. That was a fantastic journey, but check it out. It's just a load of pinky goodness. The water has all changed to pink. We still have some of the normal kind of generation around, so you can fully survive in this dimension. So as you can see over here, there is a massive crater in the land, or a ravine, as you would see in a normal Minecraft land, and there is coal, there is iron, there will be diamonds and everything around, so you can survive in this piggy goodness. There's lava, there's everything you'll need for your normal survival. So, of course, there are tons of pigs. Look how many pigs there are. There's absolutely tons. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to tell which one I need to take back. But as you can see, amazing generation. There's pink absolutely everywhere. This is called Piggicite and is like a um, stone version of pig, I guess. And there's some special things to find in this dimension. And we're going to start with what's in this chest, which are the piggy tools and armors. So the first one is the derpy pig sword, and that will do four attack damage. And what you're going to need are some blocks of pigginess. So all of these will use blocks of pigginess. And that requires, again, just as a reminder, nine bunches of yummy pork chops. That will We'll do four damage just to stick in two blocks of pigness and then we have a derpy pig shovel which does the same just plus one attack damage for that derpy pickaxe which does plus two attack damage and is crafted like this 
And then we have the Derpy Pig Axe, which is plus three damage, which isn't too bad for an axe, but it does require one more block of pigginess compared to the sword, as you would expect. And again, is a plus three damage. They all look really cool, though. I really like the sprites on them and the um, little textures, and they're enchanted as well. Or they look enchanted, at least, so they can look pretty badass while you're punching with some bacon. But yeah, we've also got the Derpy Pig Helmet, Derpy Pig Chestplate, Derpy Pig Leggings, and the Derpy Pig Boots. And they are all crafted, not with the blocks of pork chops, but with the bunches. So you take bunches of yummy pork chops like this, and and put them in all the traditional armor recipes and of course we're gonna wear this thing check this out i am now an absolutely pink warrior waiting to go to battle check that out that's so amazing and one more benefit of crafting these tools is that you can cook them so let's grab this derpy pig shovel put this into the furnace and you can cook them and they will turn into pork chops which is amazing you can eat you can eat your tools what the hell? It takes a while to cook, and I'm not sure if it gives you normal pork chops or a stack of pork chops or something like that, but we'll find out and come back to this later in the review if I remember. But there's also some other really cool things that you need to craft, starting with this. The very, very special, very valuable pig core reactor. Now to craft this, you're going to need four butter blocks of pigginess, which are these amazing golden... Oh, yep, yep, they taste good, and a diamond in the center. And that will craft this, the pig core reactor. Now, it doesn't really do anything at the moment. You can't right-click it or anything. Just sits there smoking and looking cool. Looks really awesome, but the main thing you're going to need it for is this, the swine cannon. Yes, we have... Oh, my God. I wow, wow, it's, it's really crazy. But anyway, to craft this, you're going to need your pig core reactor as well as six of your most precious iron ingots to craft the swine cannon and look how amazing this looks oh my god it's huge i didn't even think it was that big check that out it's amazing and we are going to find out how that works in just a second but wow check it out it's an amazing weapon and we'll check that out in a second properly but first i want to show you a couple new mobs the first one is the squid pig then we have the pig hunter and the flying pig so the squid pig is the one we're going to have a look at first and i don't need that saddle because i've already got one so this is the squid pig it's actually just a normal squid right now but he's looking into changing this into a piggy texture to just enhance the derpiness of this um this mod and he's just kind of spinning there Ah, uh, he's just a bit weird. There we go. Oh my god, he's jumped into action. Stay away from me, you freak. Anyway, next we've got the Piggy Hunter, and this is what this guy looks like. He's looking pretty scary. He kind of looks like a cyborg mixed with a, a pig, I guess, wearing the piggy armor. And he will actually go ahead and attack pigs in both dimensions. So these can actually spawn in the overworld as well. Let me just spawn a pig in here and see what happens. Are you gonna are you gonna hurt this guy? It's pretty ironic because he is wearing the armor and using the porky sword. Come on, come on. Come on. Okay, he doesn't seem to be attacking pigs. But again, this is a very work in progress mod and he's still adding things to it all the time. But these are supposed to attack pigs and you, I guess. So that is the pig hunter. And then we have the most special one, which is the flying pig. Check this out. It's going to fly any second now. There we go. Oh my god, it, it kind of jumped. There we go. They just kind of flit around for a little bit. Let's spawn a couple of them in there. And you'll see what happens with the flying pigs. They will kind of twitch a little bit and fly in the air. When you push them off a cliff, they'll just float to the ground. And look how amazing this looks. It's absolutely beautiful. It's 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 amazing. Check this out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get loads in here. Let's get loads in here. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. Look at this. I don't think the babies ones work. Do they work? No, nope, but look at this. It's a party in here. They're getting higher and higher. <laughs> oh my god, this is so weird. But it's also a perfect time to use the swine cannon. Now, I'm not sure what you use for ammo for this. But when you right click, a piggy missile will be shot out. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of like a, a really stretched missile shaped pig texture, which is really cool. So let's shoot some of these guys. Come on. I don't think they... Will they hurt pigs? Because it's kind of a piggy cannon. I don't know. But let's go ahead and kill a pig hunter with it. These was working earlier. No, it's not going to kill any of these. Let's bring in our classic creeper and have it... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's going on? That is a bit weird. Is it working? I don't know if that's working. The sound is being a bit weird. But again, this is a work in progress mod. So the sound is a bit off. But there you go. It kind of like oinks when you get um when you fire a bullet or a missile at them. And let's try on this creeper here. See, it's not working for some reason. It was hitting these earlier and it does about 10 damage. There we go. It's working a little bit better now. It's a little bit laggy in this dimension. I don't know why. I might try it in the other dimension in a second. Let's actually do that. Let's go back into the portal and try this out in the overworld. It does about 6 to 10 damage on a good day. And why am I in here? There we go. I've saved myself. And now we're going to try this on a creeper. Come on. Let's try this. I want it to work. 
There we go. It kind of fires them in the air. You can fire yourself in the air, which is interesting too. But that did 15 damage that time, which is interesting. So there we go. There is the Swine Cannon. It does work 100%. I have tried it before, but for some reason it's been a little bit laggy. I don't even know why. But there we go. And that is pretty much the Derpy Pig mod. So how did you enjoy that, Treoris? You didn't even come into the other dimension. What's, what's with that? Are you just working on something else? You're just kind of chatting to Grim, but that's fine, that's fine. So that's pretty much all this mod has to And if you like what you see and do want to play it for yourself, then please do head to the description below where you'll find a link to download this mod. Also, if you happen to be new to the channel, then please do subscribe and join Team TDM today for daily Minecraft videos. And if you did enjoy the video, a like would be greatly appreciated too. Also, as another note, you can now follow me on Twitter using either the link in the description below or just searching at Diamond Minecart and you'll find me. Follow me for all exclusives, funny pictures, and just updates on what I'm doing while I'm not making videos and stuff. So yeah, if you can follow that, that'd be great. And that is going to be pretty much it from me. So all that's left to say is goodbye. <laughs>